Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDA Limey and welcome back to the 2.0 beta of Slice and Dice where we are going to be starting a new run. Now even though this is the 2.0 beta uh, it still doesn't have any background music so uh, to make things a bit more interesting this time I am going to be playing in the background today uh, the public playlist from Spotify called Twitch Radio Lo-Fi copyright free. So let's hope it really is copyright free. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, bad things will happen to me. Uh, anyway, hopefully this will add some uh, chill background music, uh, which maybe, I don't know, I don't know whether it goes with the game or not, but it goes with the channel. So let's chill tonight and play some slice, slice and dice. All right, so last time we got as far as level 12 in normal mode, um, I thought about going back to easy just to unlock some other stuff, but decided that's oh, the wuss's way out. So we're going to play on normal again. So, starting with the same classes as last time. Uh, but as we go, we will get the opportunity to uh, upgrade them and change them to different classes. So, let's see how we do. Uh, okay, so three damage coming in on the Thief, three on the Healer. This is not a great roll. I think we can do better than both of those. So I'm just going to re-roll everything. Uh, I'll keep two damage. Uh, we can't target the archers because they're at the back. Um, I think I'm just going to try and kill everything as quickly as I can. So... So, 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 let's keep that, let's keep that. The odds are we get at least one mana would let us kill the goblins, so let's keep that and reroll that. Okay, good. Uh, so, gotta hit you, gotta hit you, gotta hit you, and I messed that up, undo. Two mana, burst you down, and then we can hit one of the archers for one as well. Okay, enter. We'll try and go a little faster as well. Last time it took me like over two hours to get to wave 12, so we need to speed things up a bit, uh, hopefully. Uh, as I get used to the game, that won't be a problem. So we can definitely kill the one that's threatening him. If that one hits the fighter, worst case, that's not a problem. Uh, but we'll keep that. We roll this and we fail to get anything awesome. Okay, well, we'll kill you. Uh, we will do that, and we'll burst you. Okay, first upgrade choice. Soldier. Fighter. Uh, four attacks, two shields. The soldier, four attacks, two shields, but they're just better. Or, the defender to the armorer. So the defender, uh, yeah, has nothing on that dice face. Uh, what does this do? Three damage heavy. Target must have the most HP. And that can be tricky if there's an enemy at the back that we can't hit. Four block is pretty awesome. Shield one and cleave, so that gives shield to allies on both sides of the target, which is pretty good. Shield one and smith. Target gets plus one to damage and shield sides this turn. Mmm, that's also pretty good, but I like, I like the damage of the soldier, so I think we're going to take the soldier. Okay. Soldier is getting hit by everything, basically. And those guys are doing... Doing one damage to the top three. Okay. Again, can we just. If we kill the rat, that saves the soldier from two damage. Um, kind of honestly tempted, given the thief has three faces that have nothing in it. That is basically as good as we get so i'll keep that i'll keep that uh i think i i think i want damage so i'm gonna keep that and i'm just gonna reroll that 
Um, that seems pretty good. That would even give us enough to do flare. Uh, which could kill a wolf in conjunction with that. Let's get the mana. Let's kill the rat. And uh, yeah, let's kill a wolf. No, that's not too bad at all. Uh, we will definitely keep you. Um, I think we'll reroll everybody else. We need, what, three more damage. That would get us two more damage. I guess that's good enough to keep. Oh, that's not great, but it's okay. Because the soldier is not dying and we can block one damage anyway. Uh, no, no, I will not let the wolf escape. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happens if we do, honestly. Um, but if we can't kill it, we might as well. Okay, choose an item. Leather vest, plus one maximum HP. Copper ring, plus one empty max HP, and plus one max stored mana. Random tier zero or two item. Take it, the tier zero items are garbage. Let's take the leather vest and we'll give that to the thief, given he only has 4 HP. Okay, so archers in the back row, we cannot hit. The mage is going to die because he's being hit or she's being hit. He, she, he, that looks like a beard. He's being hit by everything. So if we want to stop that, we have to kill one of the wolves. So I'm going to keep those. I think I will reroll that. I guess I will keep that. There's one mana. I mean, yeah, we don't need the heals right now, so we'll take a mana. And another mana. Okay, great. So let's kill a wolf and then block some more damage. Okay, everybody lives, so that's fine. Uh, three, four, five, six kills that wolf. Two more damage kills the archer, so we can just keep all of that. Rewards, upgrade, defender to warden. That's quite a bit better. Uh, or healer to the druid. Um, okay, so two damage with growth, two shield with growth. That's really nice. The cleanse is really nice. Uh, what is this? Three mana, one damage to all enemies, heal one to all allies. That's also pretty nice. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to take. I'll take the warden. Okay, Alpha, six damage to the Warden. Four damage to the Mage who dies. Uh, the Warden can at least handle it, I guess. So we'll keep that. I think we'll keep that. We then just need two more damage. Uh, but we might want to keep that for the 
lock, because if we don't get two mana, the mage will be dead. So yes, let's do that. Perfect, done rolling. Mana, mana. Hit, hit, burst, lock, and um, what is the alpha's deal? So he can do straight six damage, he can do two damage with cleave, and he can summon a wolf. Oh. I might just save my mana and maybe we can do Flare on him next go, which is more mana efficient than doing Burst twice. Oh god. Oh god, he's summoning a wolf. Okay, keep that, keep that. Do 13 damage to kill. I doubt that is possible. Uh, we don't really want to heal. I mean, we could heal the Warden, but we'd rather just spend that on killing him. Could we roll? We might get a two mana, but why be greedy? Try and get some attack. Oh, okay, bother. Okay, well, two more. And hit you, and hit you, and hit you. And doesn't matter. Is that a howl? I think that was a howl. Uh, yay, that's a pain if you keep summoning wolves. Uh, but let's kill the alpha, maybe. It's two damage there. Uh, it's tempting to keep that in case things go awry. But I'm not gonna. Okay, two more and two more. That's plenty. Okay, so two damage, two damage, two damage. And we might as well wait. Because we fully heal at the end of every wave, it doesn't matter if we have taken damage at the end of the wave. Uh, let's just keep all of those, hit you, get some more of that, and just overkill you. Okay, rewards. Wandify. Add single use and plus one to the two right sides. Don't like that. Spell remedy. Uh, one mana, heal for one, cleanse. Single cast can only be used once each fight. And then learn a new spell. Funky. Um, let's take a random item. Random tier 3 item. Spell Sprout. We actually saw this last time. Um, channel costs minus 1 mana each time it's cast uh, initially 3 mana for 3 heal. Okay, uh, <clears throat> don't think it matters who we equip that to. Wait, does that, re that, does that replace their spell? No, it does add to it. Okay. All right, Snake, you are gonna do poison. War Chief, what are you doing? Commander, all monsters plus one to all sides. Well, that ain't gonna help you if you don't have any other monsters. We can kill with that. You're doing three damage to the Warden is fine. What does this mean? Oh, that just means Commander, okay. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna keep those as well, I think. So, Snake, Snake, Snake. Mana, mana. Uh, we could block two damage. But I think we'll just save it for next go. Um, what are you doing? You're doing a bunch. 
damage. Damage to a different person. That's great. So we can do five to you with that. Plus three is eight. You are dead. Uh, pretty sure you're dead. Just in case. What is that cracked mana? Okay, thief to a gambler. Well, honestly, I mean, the thief's got three missing sides anyway, so uh, I guess this one is worse. But that one is quite a bit better. Glacier we had last time, so uh, I'm inclined to pick the gambler. I would like a piece of equipment that does something with these, though. And they do exist. So, sure. Inventory, um, yeah, we can add some max HP, but we should probably give that to, I probably should give that to the mage, I guess. Okay, so splits into slimelets when we get his health down to there. Two damage with cleave is a bit annoying. Uh, he will run away. They will both run away if they're on their own. But uh, if we kill the slimer, he's going to split. So we should probably kill the goblins. This is pretty bad. Uh, I guess we keep that, we keep that. Do we gamble this? That's the second best side we could roll. So I think not. Uh, we re-roll that for sure. What do we do with this? We have... We have five damage from that, so we can just kill a goblin with that. I think I want to get rid of the... Do I want to get rid of the goblins first? It's two damage and cleave. Three damage with flanking. Okay, but there's no poison, despite the greenness. So... Could get a big attack. Could get an attack, but we could get enough to kill both goblins. Reroll. Okay, well that's a good block. So let's keep that. Three attack. Okay, let's go. So, uh, do we want to kill the one that's doing four to the gambler? we'd have loads of guys to fight next go so that seems like a bad idea so let's get rid of you and then let's do that and get rid of you and then that is more block than we need and the healer okay same thing again So summons a slime look, but it won't attack this turn. The heal is now not bad, but... I think if we can just do a lot of damage. That's... Mm. Maybe we do heal, maybe we do heal. Reroll those, try and get more damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all right. Slimelets. We could uh, just kill that slimelet before he causes trouble next go. And then we'll 
more damage on you. Uh, let's heal the mage. Two mana. We could just keep that. Let's keep it for now. Okay, I think it's just all out kill. I would like to try and do better than that. Nobody's dying, so let's reroll all of those. Nice. Gonna summon a two, right? And we just kill it with that. Okay, faint halo plus one max HP this fight whenever you save a hero. That's whenever we use block to stop them dying. Or idol of Ayu plus one max HP for each vowel in your name. <laughs> it's random. Um. Okay. That would be good on the healer. Oh, I also good on the soldier. That's actually, I, I kind of like that. Let's take that. Uh, what did that do? That was Sprout. But yeah, I think that can go on anybody. the healer an eight. Is that better? I guess it's better and then the healer can heal the soldier. Although I'd rather I'd rather have the soldier alive than the healer though. So maybe I'm gonna do that instead. Slate. Ooh, okay, so all of these have to be direct damage. These HP must be oh, removed individually, so one damage at a time. Two damage to everybody? Good grief. Okay. Two snakes. That's horrible. Uh, okay, I guess we want to kill this because the poison is going to be worse on the mage, so we will definitely keep that. We re-roll everything else. Okay, I'll keep three block. It's only a 50% chance that we get anything. Well, no, less than a 50% chance we get anything better. Uh, but that's not enough to kill on its own is the problem. Yeah. I'm going to reroll everything. Okay, that was good. That worked out well. So, we kill you. And we... Um, we take two mana. And I'm going to hang on to it for next go because I might just want to one-shot that. And I'm going to protect the Warden, given he's taking poison damage, and the heal does nothing, fortunately. So, end turn. Need two more mana. That's good enough to keep. The gambler's going to die unless we do something. Uh, that would qualify. But if we can kill the snake, uh, then that's fine anyway. We've got four damage there, so we only need one more damage. So let's do this. Nice jackpot. That's pretty good also. That and then we'll reroll 
you. Oh, garbage. Okay, five damage to the snake, goodbye. And then this we have to remove one at a time. So one, one. Uh, what did this do? Heal for three and then reduce the cost. This set a hero to three HP. And that's our damage two or shield two. Let's hang on to this because if we get one more mana we can do two damage next turn and then we only need one more. Nobody's dying. So. Okay, we probably do need to kill, but we can do that with all of that. One, two, three. Okay, healer to the medic. Uh, two heal with cleanse. Cleanse, always good. Heal one, regen. Also heals for one at the end of each turn. And that stays on for the whole fight, which is awesome. We knew set a hero to 6 HP. Heal two with cleave. Oh, yeah, in the case of so the medic is just a better healer than the healer. Fiend, we saw them before. They look kind of horrible, so we're going to take the medic. And it's the witches. Okay. So we got the jackpot. Nice. I feel like we should probably keep three damage as well. Uh, what is this? Weakened one. Not weakened, yeah, are we? We're going to be weakened. We're going to be weakened by... Um, by her. So, I really don't like being weakened. That is a lot of damage, though. Why so much damage? Oh, no, because she's one damage as well. Weaken is just bad. So I think we focus on Githa. Uh, the heal does us no good right now. One, two, three, four, five, and then two more damage. I think we'd better keep that block. That's good. Good. The odds. I will just do that, keep it for next go. So, yes, sir. Two mana will finish you off with that. Um, okay, we can't kill anybody else. The medic is going to take a lot of damage, so we'll do that. And then, who is the next? best one to kill. You summon, which would be bad. You do two poison with that, which is bad. Uh, but on balance, I like the summon less. So we'll do that. Okay, the warden is dying. Uh, well, do a combination. So if we can kill Agnes, we'll be fine. But if we get to take Agnes past this point, she's going to do three damage to the gambler. Uh, but that's fine. The gambler will survive that. So we'll keep those two. Uh, heal one and regen. I could... I'll keep that because it gives us the second mana that we need. Ah, boo. All right. So we can, again, if we want to be the most mana efficient, we can do two burst damage there. Two damage there. 
Who wants a heal? I think the warden should get the heal and the regen, and then we hit her with that. And then turn, so when she dies, three damage to the mage. So we really need to prevent that. So I'm going to keep that. Take that. Oh, in fact, we're fine. Been rolling. Shield the mage. Uh, and kill. Okay, mini crossbow. Uh, we saw this last time as well. We place the rightmost side with two damage ranged, engaged, double damage on targets with full HP. So the gambler, that'll be good for the gambler because they've got an empty space there. Uh, ooh, or splitting arrows. I place the two right sides with one damage ranged cleave. Anybody got two empty spaces? The mage does. So maybe that's better. That. Continue. Oh boy. Okay, bones. I don't like fights with lots of bones. The warden is gonna die. He's gonna die because he's being hit for six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, but the bones do damage to adjacent bones when they die, so we can keep that and that and do that on here and then that kills that one and that will keep the warden alive. That is uh, worth keeping I think, the heal does is no good right now, What are you, you're summoning more bones aren't you? We don't have any range damage, so we can't do anything about that. Or if we can get him there, we stop him. Summoning three bones? Holy. Uh, oh, wait, this is ranged. But it's only one damage. We need another damage. Can't get it. We just don't have a face that does that. Shoot. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna reroll this. Keep that. Reroll. Okay, it's probably about as good as we could expect. So, that there. Oh god, summoning three bones, that is absolutely brutal. Oh wait, no, but when he dies, bone fragments, that stuns him. Yes. Good, thank god for that. We will kill you as well. Which does another point of damage to him. Get that. And we want to kill you next, ideally, so you'll do damage to both people. But we could do that right now. Let's do that right now, then. Everybody's nearly dead. Okay, that's a much better outcome. Uh, that is insane amounts of damage. Three damage to everybody? Okay, well, you're dying. Uh, and in fact, we can just keep all that. That will be fine. Kill you with splash damage. Okay, mage is getting replaced with either the Myco. Um, shield one with growth. Plus three mana and decay gets minus one this fight after use. Two and one. Revive the topmost defeated ally. That's 
pretty good. One damage and growth on the bottom as well. And uh, add decay and plus one to target sides this turn. Or Sparky. Bonus equal to your current mana. And then single use. I really don't like these two single use sides. This is just bad. Two damage and mana gain. I guess we're going Maiko. Um, so we're gone equipped. Plus one max HP. That should go to the medic. And then replace the two right sides with one damage range cleave. Uh, well, that's still better than what the gambler's got, so yes. Sniper in the back. Need range damage to take him out. Uh, this guy does two damage every time we hit him, which is horrible. Um, well, that's good. And I like the idea of keeping that and making that shield stronger as well. So I'm going to do that. And a regen. Sure. Take that. Um. Okay, well, we've got to do that, really. <laughs> And I think three is a pretty good hit as well. We'll use the three shield on the Myco. And we'll use... we we'll use on the Gambler. He's got the only face that will hit the Sniper while the Spike is still alive. Do that. And who wants regen? Soldier. Okay, so this is plus two mana and then gets minus one this way after use, which is fine. Um Five damage kills, and they can do it without being killed, which is always good. And uh, then the two mana. Uh, ooh, even if we kill Spiker, but I killed Sniper as well. Uh, well, I guess or heal. Um, I'd rather have the mana. So I think I'm going to reroll. Uh, that will do it. That will do it. So, three. And two. And then two mana. And we hit you with that. And then we do that. Okay. Ornate hilt. Add self shield to all damage sides. So every side that does damage also shields for the same amount. That seems amazing. Add underdog to the bottom side. Double damage if the target has more hit points than you. Or two random tier three items. Uh, who has a lot of damage sides? I guess you do, you do. So the 
soldiers got four. And the bigger. So that would be best on the soldier. Take it. Okay, level 11. Okay, so Slime is going to split again. Imp has um, Spiky, so damages us for one. Also doing Poison, the Maiko is dying. Dies if it takes four or more damage in a single attack. Where's my Uber attack? That's definitely worth rolling for. So she'll sell for three. I mean, the three damage is, is good. Maybe we can kill an imp. Well, we definitely can kill an imp in conjunction with, say, that one. Although if we, I uh, know if I can say if we kill Slimer then the Micah survives, but that's not true. There would then be two Slimes, but I don't think I care about that because they're only two attack. we do it might go horribly wrong it went horribly wrong oh dear okay so what does that mean can we even keep the Maiko alive Ooh, well, yeah, actually, we could add plus one and decay to the soldier sides, which would let him kill the zombie. Uh, but that stops two damage and two poison. And we've still got mana left. Is worth doing. Mm. Now the Maiko lives. Okay, good. Let's do two damage to you and then kill them. That helps the Maiko out even more. Okay, my playlist is still playing. All right. End turn. Oh, uh, no, we can still heal us all. Uh, the only person that benefits is the warden. Oh, and that's a, uh, yeah, I forgot that's a uh, uh, cleave heal as well. Full damage to the gambler. Okay, so we need to kill this bottom imp. Let's 
let's do that. Uh, and that will guarantee is a kill. Reroll for damage. Uh, yeah, sure. Reroll for damage. Okay. Okay, Warden. You can take a damage. Uh, you're still dying, apparently. Okay, well, let's stop that. Let's get four mana. Uh, oh, I don't have my spell anymore that does five damage. Because we replaced the mage. Uh, that's fine. What have we got instead? So heal for three. Set a hero to six HP. That's no good now. Two damage or shield two. Let's do shield two on the Maiko. And... Maybe... Mm, I guess we can keep that till next turn. Decide what we want to do with it. Advantage to using it now. Okay, nobody's dying. Do six damage. We need one more. Don't need to res anybody. Shouldn't need to heal anybody because we should. Oh uh, well. I say we should be able to kill this go, but uh, we'll get the slimelets out. And that's fine. Um, so two damage and self shield, which is nice. Two more damage. Let's kill the slimelet now, so we stay on top of them. This is a, again, a cleave heal. So we'll do that. Get a mana. And... Wait. sure that will kill. Although, uh, actually, yeah, undo. Let's just keep everything apart from that. Let me roll that. Might as well get something on there. Uh, what order do I want to do this? I want to do that first, then I want to do that. Not that it particularly matters, and then that. Okay. Change the Medic to the Forsaken. Plus three mana, revive the two topmost defeated allies. Kind of in a bad way if you've lost two allies, but I guess we're fighting the Lish and that's what happened last time. Heal two to all other allies, pain. You take two damage. Vitality also grants plus two empty max HP this fight. God, funky, okay. And then just heal two to all allies. Spell bind, target ally becomes immune to damage this turn. But minus four max HP this fight. Um, okay, that's, oh, that sounds funky. The warlock looks pretty funky as well. Plus four mana, but pain, you take four damage. The warlock's only got eight health. Three damage, single use, self heal. Same again, four mana and pain. Two mana and bloodlust. It just doesn't seem very good. Does three damage once and then that's it. And then he's just about generating lots of mana and dying. Oh, blaze. Six mana, 13 damage. Uh, hmm. Well, okay. That's kind of good. 
That is kind of good. Not going to be able to hit the Lish with it though. Until the burns are dead. So it might not be good for this fight. <sighs> I could skip. And keep my medic. That is a thing I could do. two to all allies. Does that include self? I'm kind of thinking not. Uh, I really don't like the looks of them. No, they're too scary. They're too scary. Pass. Yes. Let's go. Lish and Bones. So this is Petrify. Uh, transforms two sides to stone this fight. I mean, that's just horrible. Presum presumably that makes them unrollable. Okay, we can kill one Bones with that. Oh, the Warden's actually dying. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter. How is the Warden dying? Grey, the bones, the bones. Oh, and that does two damage as well. Okay. Well, tempted to take that for the growth. Do that there, we can use these to kill that bones as well. God, the lish fight is so hard. How are we gonna stop the one from, well, okay, so yeah, if we kill the bones, we stop the one from dying. So yeah, that will take care of those two bones. Uh, that's no good at the moment. We can do better than that. So re-roll. Uh, yeah, we can kill another Bones with that. So, sure. So. First things first, kill you. Maybe I should have done it at the bottom. Hang on. Three and four, four and four, yeah. I'm gonna do it at the bottom. So let's kill you. And then we're gonna do two and one. And then I'm gonna kill you. That makes life much better, although the Warden is still taking a ton of damage. Oh, well. On the other hand, at least the Lich didn't weaken us. But now we can't roll those two faces anymore, which makes me sad. Now he's going to do the same to the Medic. When we get here, what does he do? He summons two bones. Good grief. I think we try for damage. It's a cleave heal, but only the Warden will get healed. Which is not bad. But maybe we'd rather get something else. So let's... Let me roll everything. Okay, I keep that because that will increase its damage as well. Uh, if we do this... Then we can kill the bones. 
Uh, we'll give somebody regen. We better keep that because he's got two petrified faces anyway. I would rather have damage. I think. So we do that. Do that. Uh, heal and give you a regen. Hit you. You're going to summon two bones. So be it. Lock the damage there. I assume that petrified even though we blocked. Yeah. Be sure. Yep. For sure. Okay, uh, I'd like to keep that again, and then we'll get it up to four damage, which is enough to one-shot a bone, which makes a huge difference. It's a shame we can't do... Oh, wait, yes, we can do that, because it's got ranged. So we can do that, and that, and that, and that will kill all the bones. I'm still going to reroll. Okay, good. You will. Okay, nice. So. Boom. 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 <laughs> Hello, more bones. Yeah, of course. Uh, shield the Myco. Heal the Warden. Okay, weaken. Oh my god. Petrified! Uh, so that is... Uh, roll three petrified sides at once. Unlocks an item. Basilisk scale. So that will now be in the pool of stuff we could see. Uh, three damage. And self-shield is good. Uh, again, that's good. So we can then use that and that to kill one of the bones. Heal and a regen it sounds good while we've still got the face. Oh my god, don't petrify that four damage face. I need three more damage. Oh no, that was the last roll. I missed that was the last roll. I thought I had one more roll. I would not have done that. Okay, well, do that. Who do we not want to be hit? I guess Maiko. Then we'll shield the Warden. And then we will get a regen. Warden's already got a regen, I think he needs another one. The Maiko can bring back people from the dead, so... Oh, weak. I hate weak. I hate it, I hate it! It makes life so hard. Of you, okay. We're gonna reroll you. Obviously, gonna reroll those. We're gonna reroll that because it's doing nothing. Two block is kind of pretty good. Better keep that. Nothing. One mana, one shield. I really want the other face. Oh, that's horrible. That is. 
is kind of bad. Um, let's block the gambler. Let's do heal there. we are no longer weak. Oh, you're summoning more skeletons. Oh. Okay, that will kill the bones at the top. Do we, do we not? But on the other hand. Get in the lish while we can. Let's do it. <laughs> and heal and regen on the gambler. Okay, we might as well save the mana. So here it's a six HP, adds decay and plus one to target sides. Heal for three and then that. Okay. Weak, oh, don't like that. You really want to kill him. Amazingly, nobody is dying. The regen, well, no, the two mana would be better. Okay, bones, um, that is the best thing we can have. Uh, we want damage, so we will. Oh, God. Right then. Um, Do that. Actually, hang on, do we do that? Maybe we use these two to kill our bones. The gambler is fairly useless. The Maiko is currently better. So we use those to kill this bones. There's one damage there. It's the most efficient, I think. down to one health. Just got to kill this to kill him. And a uh, soldier. Weak is horrible though. Oh god, they'll do nothing. Do better without that reroll. Okay, nice. Keep you, keep you, keep you, so we can kill him, which kills the Lish. We can kill him, just one damage on him. Okay. <sighs> Goodbye. Three damage on you. Overgrowth. Activate growth on a single side four times. Unlocks an item, smelly manure. Uh, adds decay or growth to all sides. Okay, so decay to the middle sides, growth to the outside sides. Okay, funky. Uh, all right, so we hit you with that. We get one mana there. You hit the warden. The bones is trying to flee. No, no, we're gonna 
kill you, Bones. Alright, got this is the furthest we've got. Infinity Heal. Replace the two right sides with heal all sides. Wait. Replace the two right sides with heal all sides, retaining their original value and keywords. don't entirely understand what that does, but it sounds kind of good. Glyph of Purity. I cleanse to the top and bottom sides. That's nice. For a random tier 6 item. Uh, I kind of want to see what Infinity Heal is. Uh, so, let's take it. Zero to all allies. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. So it replaces what was at whatever was there before. So that was value two. So the heal become heal all for two. Necessarily the best place for that. Could put it on the soldier if we didn't care about shield too. But I kind of think we do. Maybe on the Maiko. Because this is only good if somebody's died. And this is gives us one mana and then it's gone. Oh, this still has decay. Did say that. Hmm. Still, still think that's better. So we'll keep it there. All right, level 13.